Alyssa Reynolds here with special guest Jean Power, who is going to be one of the teachers in the upcoming Mediumship for Beginners course that is online in a private Facebook group from September 15th to 30th. If you'd like to introduce yourself, Jean, and um, let us know a little bit about um, who you are. My name is Wes Cork Healer. Um, I'm from Ireland. And just is there a bit yes. of a delay? I'm just noticing. Yes, there is a yeah. little so bit of a delay, but yeah. Uh, yeah, is it okay? it's all right. It's technology. Yeah. It does things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're far away from each other, so you know that's fair enough. Um, yeah, so, so yeah, basically, I suppose um, I've been interested in, in spirituality mediumship for a long time. And, um, yeah, I just kind of, you know, I suppose always kind of sensed things as a, as a child and always kind of felt energies around me. And um, I just kind of turned off my skills, I suppose, really just to fit in. And, um, and then, like, I think around uh, 2010, I was having quite a rough time um, with depression. So I went to a shaman, a shaman, and uh, that was kind of the start of a lot of the inward journey of healing and, and spiritual development. So, And he told me, he said, you know, you're a healer. You're supposed to be doing this work. And I just had no confidence at the time. And I laughed it off. And I said, sure, I don't know what he's talking about, you know. But there was there was something that he, I suppose, facilitated for me in that healing space that resonated on quite a deep level. And um, I just kind of continued really to um, to do the healing, you know, doing the inner healing work. And then um, his partner actually was my Reiki teacher, my Reiki training uh, with her as well. So um, and that was all in 2010. So that was the big kind of <laughs> opening, I suppose, for me, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's really, really amazing, um, getting to connect with people one-on-one -on -one in that sort of way. And then it expands out into a whole community. That's really amazing. Yeah, yeah like, so that was up in Galway, um, which is the, up, in, up in west of Ireland. I'm down in Cork now, which is the southwest. But I felt I was going through such a hard time. And then all of a sudden, when I stepped into, like, looking for some help, there was all these healers you know, and people training in all different types of healing. You know, there was a lot of um, mediums, psychics and um, shamans. And I suppose what was lovely, I ended up doing training with, with Paul. So he was my shaman teacher and his partner, Mel, was the Reiki. Um, and actually just the combination of the two of them together was, was very powerful. Um, yeah, contacts because of that. And I suppose really my life turned, you know, from then on in a very positive way. And I suppose some of the old maybe friendships and um, the old ways of being just, just kind of fell away. Like, you know, it was no disrespect. You know, we, we were there with each other for a certain amount of time, I suppose. But then it was just like we had nothing in common, you know. And um, and that just happens, I think, naturally when when you do a bit of inner work. But initially, it can be a bit scary, but you're like, oh, my God, am I going to be on my own here? You know, but then all of these new kind of like light worker kind of uh, mediumship or or healing just kind of step up and you end up meeting all these people. And it's like, oh, OK, I'm not on my own here. And you just feel a lovely connection, you know. Uh, completely, um, which is really what um, this upcoming course is all about um, and any course is really any time that you just step out and start exploring you start realizing that there are so many other people out there who are going through the exact same so I was wondering then um, kind of where your journey took you yeah. after that initial yeah. experience in community building? Well, I mean, it, it was amazing, really, I suppose. I depressed. So it was really nice that like the heaviness work was kind of coming off me and the sadness. I had a lot to process. So then I suppose it was like the light at the end of the tunnel. I could see it. 
and there was hope starting to come back into my life and um yeah and then there was just a magic you know it's like the possibilities um like for example i was having um after my my reiki level 2 attunement so there's reiki uh, first degree reiki second degree masters and teacher level i had a strong um let's say kind of flashback of um a brown arm my right arm and it was my arm a brown arm painting inside in a cave and i was like wow that's that's really interesting you know i was like i wonder is it a past life and then um I was in art college at the time and this one day I actually decided to go to art history. <laughs> Normally I'd be like, I'm not going, but I went and it was all about Aboriginal art and my whole body from the inside, all my cells started vibrating and I was like, oh, it, it, I was so blissed out. So I just knew in that moment that I was an Aboriginal in a past life from Australia and it was so strong for me. In the Munakai rites which is I love you in Peruvian. These are shamanic rites. Um, it came to the ancestral rite. And now I never told this to anyone. And my shaman teacher whispered into my ear and he said, just so you know, there's a group of Aboriginal ancestors behind you. And I was like, you know, so it was like, I suppose what it is, is like it's given me so much trust in myself and, and maybe my connection to spirit. And and actually, I suppose we all have these abilities. It's just about developing them and maybe opening them up again, um, you know, for different reasons. Different people have different gifts as well. And um, yeah, like I'm, you know, I'm only in my 30s now, so I'm still quite excited about my life, you know, um, going forward. And genuinely, I suppose, like I love helping people. I love facilitating a safe space for people. Um, I suffered a lot myself in my own personal journey. And yeah, I just. People along this path, we're in this together. We're in this world together. It's not um, a solo journey as such, you know. So I suppose it really made me kind of see that we're all connected, the interdependence of life, you know, and, and we're all beings, you know, not just humans, but with animals and insects and birds. You know, we we really have to be conscious of our choices, you know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's one of the best <laughs> yeah. things um, yeah. about um, going on any sort of spiritual journey and especially doing it in a community where you're really working towards something like what's going to be happening in this course and what's happened in past courses. And it's really inspiring to hear your own so, particular um, journey. Part of too. your question, just it froze i couldn't hear the first part <laughs> oh yeah no that's all right yeah. um i hadn't quite gotten to the question which was just wondering a little bit more about how you would draw on mediumship into <clears throat> your healing practice yeah um well i suppose i've always i've had psychic experiences since i was a child um i've had a lot of premonitions in my dreams so i'd have quite a strong dream and then it would come true and um you know i told you about some of the and um like i've always known things and i'm very i can read somebody's face quite easily but i suppose i needed to develop it in a proper way um <clears throat> i suppose in a formal training as you would call it so it was really interesting. I did um, a master's in art psychotherapy. I finished my training last October, but I was actually in college for 11 years altogether from the start of my art degree to the end of my master's. With the art therapy training, it was very much healing my subconscious. Um, and by no means am I perfect. I still have work to do. But finished. I suppose the fear and stuff was gone and there was a lot of kind of traumas that were resolved that I just, it was like a natural thing to explore the mediumship. I suppose I probably had a bit of fear around it, around um, of what I might see or what I might feel. So, um, and that was just my own mind and my own perception, you know. So I went for training um, up in County Clare with Lisa Marie Duffy. Uh, she was my mediumship teacher and it was really interesting. Um, it was like I broke down in this big flu. Everything was like going against me until I got on the bus. The flu disappeared. I was fine. 
but I had such resistance, you know, and that's what happens sometimes with energy work and healing. It's like we block ourselves sometimes. Um, so it was a massive step for me, I suppose, to go into the mediumship because I wanted to do more psychic development, but she was like, you're a medium, you know, she was like, you know, um, didn't have the confidence again, but I went and that was just last November. And um, I, I have to say it was one of the most amazing weekends of my life. And since then, I've just been practicing. Um, you know, we have to have a certain amount of clients and, and we practice. And then what was lovely, um, Kristen Davies has been really supportive with my own kind of like, you know, launching my business online and stuff. And she was saying to me, like, you know, start doing it online. And I was like, like that. Um, but actually what's beautiful is the mediumship has helped me so much with my clients because not, not only now do I feel the blockages, um, in their body when I'm doing the healing, I actually see stuff through my third eye. Um, it's amazing. So I'm so grateful for that. And I suppose there's no fear for me because I know it's only high vibration and, um, you know, I suppose I, I've been trained in a certain way and, you know, I know with this course, it's really structured course. And I just think for people who are interested, they're just going to learn so much. And I suppose what's lovely about it is you really just get to have fun and like, just see that magic, you know, does exist, like, which is really, you know, it's like, Ooh, it's exciting. <laughs> Oh, it's exciting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh my gosh. Is it ever exciting? Um, it's honestly my favorite part is just how everything opens up and everything is magic. It's what I thought as a child and what I believed as a child and saw as a child is absolutely, totally true. It yeah, definitely. Um, like I suppose I've learned so much myself, you know, just even in such a short space of time. And um, like, I suppose I've seen your videos and Ashley's and Kristen's um, and I just feel like, you know, you really have practiced this and you, you live it and you work it. And um, I just really felt drawn to kind of, you know, maybe. And I genuinely think that people need to do this kind of stuff um, because every time we initiate people into these kind of courses or trainings, we actually raise the vibration of the planet. Like, that's really cool, like, you know, so, um, and, and that's the thing, like, you know, the, the world needs more light workers. It needs more people to step forward and do this work, do this training. And even if it's the case that someone does a training and they're like, it's not for me, that's fine. You know, um, training as well. And you get to kind of, I don't know, maybe see parts of yourself that maybe you haven't before, and it's really good for just removing fear, I think, you know. Um, yeah, and I suppose I know Kristen Davies a good few years now because I went for um, mediumship um, readings from her and they've always been so good and they've really helped me. And I suppose not only have they helped me, but I like the way she's quite um, dynamic and assertive. So she helps push so yeah and i just i know that she's she's doing it from her heart like she's very heart-based as are you and as are ashley so i mean why wouldn't i be wanting to be part of this team <laughs> yeah. thank you well that is it oh, yeah that's yes. community <laughs> it's definitely community and that's honestly the thing that drew me onto this path was what we were talking about earlier about the fact that none of us are alone in what we're experiencing or anything that we go through on this path and that we've got each other to help us to walk our paths. Yeah, definitely. Like, and you know, it's, um, it's kind of as well, like we never know who might see these videos. We never know who might be really, you know, going through such a hard time and they might hear something from what we share, because sometimes when we're in a certain mindset and we're in a certain place in our lives, we, we can't see a way out, you know, um, but I'm just saying from somebody who's, who seriously suffered from, you know, very bad depression years ago and was in such a dark place, I never thought I'd get out of it, but 
it is possible, you know, and the more that um, the more inner work that I've done, the more healing I've done, the more training, you know, and meeting like minded people, the less it can stay like because you're changing and evolving so much, your vibration is getting higher. So stuff just leaves, you know, um, and it's it's beautiful because we all deserve to have a lovely life. You know, we, we don't always have to suffer. Yeah, absolutely. That was one of the biggest, just like mind blowing things that when I first really started on this path, I came to that there is no black and white and like need for like that duality that we all grow up thinking has to exist there. And that again, going back to the community thing is what's so wonderful about it and about all going on a particular journey in like a course like this together and i think as well you know like for the people who will be joining the course like imagine for them this new community this this new community of like it's so lovely that they have they meet each other there's going to be support for all the students and um yeah like you just and they're going to be friends then for however long they want and you know it's like what we said like community is so important and actually we can do anything as long as we have support. Anything is possible. No? Yep, that is the truest word spoken, honestly, and something that I really do stand by because it's just the tiniest things even that you do or you come across that can make such a huge influence and change. Like I know um, when I really started seriously on this path and really being open about it as well my family even started getting curious about it and noticing things and picking up books about different areas of spirituality and mediumship and just wanting to learn more just because this was the path that I was really (laughs) focusing upon and realizing was my path they were being drawn on it as well and That's something that you can't put a price onto that at all, whether it's time or money, just having that influence, just noticing that one little thing can change so much in someone's life. Um, I know it certainly has for me even, just the little bits and pieces that led up to being like, yes, this is who I am and I'm going to be open about it. I'm proud of it. Thank you so much for um, coming on with me today and sharing a little bit about your spiritual journey so far and how mediumship um, has become again a key part of your life. Um, I'm really excited about working with you in this upcoming course and building a whole new... And I hope I didn't ramble on too much. You can see that I talk a lot. (laughs) No, 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 you were totally fine. It was all good. And actually, as somebody who is naturally really, really introverted, despite the fact that I am a trained teacher and have worked as a teacher, I'm definitely a little oh, bit more wow. of the just kind I mean, of sit back and be quiet. Too, so. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it, it's all that part of just stepping okay. forward and being with people and yeah like i've said sometimes just realizing you're not alone in this and that gives you so much courage and that's the thing i love the most about this particular course is everybody is in that same position of just learning and growing no matter what levels they feel Mm -hmm. that they're at (laughs) and there are no levels honestly (laughs) we're all just learning and growing and supporting each other well, thank you so much for bringing me on. It was it was so lovely to chat to you as well. And um, I really hope as many people will get to see the video and, and hopefully feel inspired, you know, to step on their own journey, um, you know, and there is support loads of people there um, that can help support each other. And I think with, with that course, it really sounds like a supportive course. Now, I know you've been involved in it before. I, I haven't been involved in your course, but from the sounds of it as well, it just sounds really, really supportive. Yes, um, it's amazing seeing how, just even in the last course in January, so many months ago now, 
the people there are still mm -hmm. friends and they're still Greece. in the community. They're making their own groups, going on their own paths and just shining. It's lovely to see just how there's lifetime connections made from that course. And I'm really looking forward to seeing more of those happening in this upcoming one. So Jean, thank you so much for coming on with me to talk a little bit about yourself and this upcoming course. <laughs> it was really, really wonderful to get to know a little bit more about yeah. you. And I'm looking forward to working with you and everyone else. Thank you. Thank you so much for Bye. hanging on and listening. I know it was a little bit of a different setup than my usual. And <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I'll see all of you around yeah. and I'll see you around, Jean. Thank you. Bye. Bye.